but that depth of malt flavour that comes through is something called carry wheat and it's uh, something we're loving. So I'm going to use it again and again. And it should be cloudy because it's got quite a lot of wheat on there. Uh, I think it's time for us to go upstairs for those that have come upstairs and uh, we'll talk about the, the other beers as we come to them. The first course was a range of our um, usual bar snacks, pork pie, scotch egg, radishes, mon deep fried monkfish cheeks, cauliflower fritters, etc. If you see on your on your data sheets there's stuff about IBUs. IBU stands for International Bitterness Units. Um, it's more of a guide than it's very bitter. If you think that your average beer is probably 30 to 40 IBUs, um, 90 is quite high, but it's all uh, it's all relative. It's, it's how your palate reacts anyway. Just to let you know that's what that piece of information is about. Just to give you an idea of how bitter it might be. We followed that with a roast sucking pig, uh, which had a stuffing made from uh, the kidneys, the liver, some red onions, some red wine and bread. Sometimes when you're brewing beer it's really interesting to take something out of balance to take something out of context and with the Anarchy Lager, I know this is a recipe that Simon developed but it was taking something that everybody knows and everybody has a, an understanding of and then just taking it, uh, I think Spinal Tap, you when you turn it up to 11, taking the alcohol content right up and taking it out of balance to see how that works and this is one of those success stories where you take something out of balance and, and make it about one particular aspect of the beer um, and that's the ABV on this. Okay, what, I'm just trying to get an idea what time I'll be here. But then it was raining, I think somebody else was actually taking the ball by the horse. And he now runs both photography classes in his restaurant. He was like, great food, by the way. He just turned it around and just leave it. Is that so occurring? Part of what we do in the brewing process is we trial brew beers. Um, it never goes on to the big plant until we're absolutely and utterly happy with what we do. And this is the final iteration of a beer that we, I think we brew this three different times. Um, it's a bit of rambo rye, um, which just refers to the malt that's in it. There's some amber malt in, there's, uh, there's a lot of rye malt in this as well. Um, part of the process as well is dry hopping. Um, we, we put this on a hop, once it's finished fermenting we put this on hops to get all the oils and all the fresh flavours of hops into it. After the halfway through that two week period we also put this on coriander, so part of the fitness you're getting is coriander on this. Um, we will be moving this up on the big kit. Um, this is literally the first time anybody's tasted this outside of the three of us. Um, it's very, very bitter. The idea is to be able to cook through and clean your palates this evening. Then we followed it with some cheese, um, an 18 month old aged Montgomery's cheddar. This beer is pretty special because it's uh, it's been nat it's naturally carbonated. So we've introduced further uh, yeast and sugars and uh, allowed it to, to develop further for seven to ten days, and then matured it for three or four weeks, and then um, put it in. I allowed did that in the keg. Sorry. The supplement pick was amazing, uh, the stoppers were absolutely amazing, the beers were absolutely The range from one to another, uh, I cannot actually explain it because it was just such a wonderful night and we had a really good time. I thought tonight was absolutely cracking, beers were spot on, really uh, slightly different, never had them before, absolutely built up, I would uh, gladly drink them again. I'd agree with everything he's just said to be honest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. The food was amazing. Uh, Broadchair always knows it. I've never had a bad meal here. Suckling pig, first time I've had suckling pig. Pretty good. Yeah, very Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty good.